Well, this card got revealed sooner than I expected, and also a surprise return of an old favorite unit. This is where Clan Collection 5 and 6 begins. So let's begin. So first off to our first card for Clan Collection 5 and 6, the bottom end of Victory, Aleph. Grade 3, 30 power, force, and its skill is Act Hand. If your Vanguard is bottom end of Victory, Aleph, or the bottom end of Shield, Lamb, costs put a bottom end of Armor, Bar, and a bottom end of Spear, Tar, from your rear guard to your soul, and ride this card as standard. Just a reminder, a bottom of shield lamb is actually a grade 2 vanilla in V. So basically with this first skill, you can skip right into grade 3 right away. But another important thing is actually putting the bar and tar in soul because that's going to revolve around the third skill. But anyway, before that, we go to the second skill, auto vanguard. When your rear guard with a bottom end attacks, change its power equal to this unit's power until the end of that battle. Well, they will be at least 13k, so that's not bad. It's just too bad it makes boosting irrelevant to those units, but still. And then to the third skill skill. Act Vanguard once per turn, cost counter blast 3, this unit gets plus 15k power, 1 crit, and drive plus 1 to end a turn. Then, you can soul blast 1 bar and 1 tar to counter charge 3. That's why I said the first skill kind of matters, because you want to have the bar and tar in soul so you could soul blast them out to make sure that this third skill is practically free. I can really only say this is meant to be a fun deck than anything, make it a bottom end deck, because a lot of cards already kind of get the 15k 1 crit and drive plus 1 in Kagero, but much better in many ways. But A, more fun options are always nice, especially if you ride this on top of Dauntless where you can attack twice with 28k at least with 2 crits with 3 drive checks each. And before we go to Tuesday's stream, for last week on Thursday, we got the reveals of the 3 trial decks. And honestly though, this looks like try 3 all over again. Although I really like the design of the Dark State one. And then here's the image for the next Overdress booster set with a new former Nirvana. Looks like a feminine Nirvana and hopefully this doesn't get rid of the overdress mechanic. Because I wouldn't like transitioning like I did with Gear Chronicle with Time Leap into CTB. And now to the Tuesday stream. So it's confirmed that Clan Collection 5 and 6 are going to be reprinting the Heal Guardians, and I don't mind that because those have really high demand. I hope they do the same thing for the PGs too, because PGs are very necessary. And then to today's reveal, we got one of the cover cards already, and it's the popular Clan of Shadow Paladin. That being Revenger, Drag Ruler Phantom. Um, time to evolve Mordred. Anyway, it's a grade 3 with 13 power, force, and skill is auto when placed on Vanguard by riding on top of a Revenger during the ride phase. So unfortunately, no raging form here. Search your deck for a Revenger and call it to rear guard. And then if your opponent has 4 less damage, cost Soul Blast a Mordred Phantom and deal 1 damage to your opponent. Referencing Mordred Phantom's old break ride skill and then Drag Ruler's deal 1 damage Mirage Strike. Honestly though, this skill isn't too bad because you could on ride get an imaginary gift and then get a free call out of it. The deal 1 damage is really just a bonus for evolving it, so it's not much of a deal right there. But anyway, the second skill, Auto Vanger. When this card attacks, cost counter blast 1, soul blast 1. Choose all your front row blaster darks and revengers, retire all your other rear guards, and then your whole front row gets plus 5k power into the end of the turn for each card retired. If two or more retired, stand your whole entire front row. So first off, I like that this can still synergize with blaster dark because of Mordred. And the second thing I like is that this is not locked with blaster Dark unlike Mordred. That is one key factor right there, because without Blaster Dark with Mordred, your deck is brick. With this, it's basically a backup play right there. Now you have your Blaster Darks, this card doesn't give as much value as Mordred does, because one, Mordred gives you free imaginary gifts just by calling, and this one you need to ride to get your extra plus with it. And two, you still have to retire your own rear guards for this card to give you more multi-attack. Luckily, it's in mid-battle, and it will also be on the third attack, so your other two rear guards would have already been boosted. It, but this card will lose its booster, so it isn't entirely that bad, it just has more to do with what scenario you're really in. Overall, I do kind of like it, and it's kind of a backup play for Mordred anyway. So that's it for these reveals. What do you guys think about the new Aleph and Drag Ruler Phantom? Both are just okay fun cards. They're nothing really super amazing or anything, but I am glad to see them return, especially probably for the final time for 2011 nostalgia. But on that, that's it for this, and see you all next time.